Guys, this is now uh, day three of my Hank Greenberg Collection Showcase. Um, again, I'll put a link in the description for the rest of the playlist and uh, my blog. So feel free to check the rest of the videos out. Um, I got four cards to you today and one thing I got in the mail which I want to open in front of you guys. So, a little treat. Uh, so let's get into it. <clears throat> this is from 2007 Upper Deck Premiere. It's a Jimmy Fox, Lou Gehrig, Ken Greenberg, uh, Triple, the Fox Jersey, uh, Gehrig, uh, sorry, Fox Bat, uh, Gehrig Jersey with a pinstripe, and uh, Greenberg Bat is number to 50. Um, definitely a really nice car with um, three legends of the game, really, and the Lou Gehrig pinstripe is uh, just a great little touch. Um, so yeah, this is a great car. I love this one. I uh, got this at a show actually on my birthday, my 21st birthday. Um, that was uh, three years ago now. So, yeah, this is a great card. This next one, m some of you probably haven't seen if you're not familiar with the vintage game. Um, this is a 1950 R423. Um, it is actually smaller than the size of a postage stamp. Um, and it came in a strip of 12 cards long. And they were um, in vending machines, and I'm gonna try and get like a my shitty webcam probably won't pick this up, but um, it's just him in a classic stance. Um, you've probably seen this photo before, um, and this is his name at the bottom. And then the back actually has two different color variations. This is orange, I believe. The other one is purple or or like a lime green. Um, so these are pretty condition sensitive. Uh, this one is an SGC. 40. Um, but they're pretty cheap to come by um, if you're into this kind of stuff. Um, it's pretty oddball, but you know, I think it's a cool thing to uh, to have. Yeah. Uh, this next one um, is actually one of the uh, cards last um, issued from his playing days um, 1940s. Um, this is a um, 1941 double play with, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> um, I just had lunch. Um, he and Red Ruffing, Hall of Fame pitcher for the Yankees. Um, and what people used to do with these cards is just like sort of cut them down the middle, or if they were horizontal, sort of cut them down the middle to have both players on different cards. So they actually numbered them both, I believe this one is, yeah, 85 and 86. Um, so... Not too uncommon to see them, um, you know, cut up, but um, I would I would say that they could be had for much less if they are cut. Um, but this is just a nice card. There's actually another one with him and um, it's kind of tires named Bobo Newsom. Um, that I'll show you later. It's horizontal. It's in little in little measure condition. This one commands a bit of a premium because Ruffing's on it. He's also a Hall of Famer. So um, yeah, this is a nice card. Um, this one is actually a bit scarcer, I've found. Uh, the one with Greenberg and Newsom is a bit more common, so this one commands a bit more of a premium in that sense. Uh, and then the last card I'll show you before I open the package is this guy. Um, this is a 1936 R312 Pastel. Um, this is a premium that's, I, I don't really know the history behind this one too much. Uh, I could look it up um, and probably educate you a little more in the next video. Um, but Webkin doesn't pick up, you know, just the sheer beauty of this car. It's really nice. Um, and I can see it's a glare. Now that's good to know. Um, so, yeah, this is a great card. Um, only reason why it's an SGC 10 is because there's some paper loss in the back, so I'm going to paste it in a scrapbook. I don't know if you can pick that up. Um, but yeah, this is just a great card. It has a facsimile autograph down there on the bottom. Uh, a more famous Greenberg pose with him uh, after his swing. And uh, one day I would like to upgrade this only because of the condition. Um, but at the moment, you know, I was in college and just wanted to get this card, you know, knocked it out, so what, what the hell am I saying? I'm just, I was just trying to get the card, you know, as cheap as I could, and so 
got this card for around 40 bucks or so at the time, but I'd like to upgrade this to a better uh, example down the road. Okie dokie. So, that was that, and then I did want to open this one up. Um, bought this on eBay uh, over the weekend, over the last weekend, and um, got this for a huge steal. I've wanted this card for a while, and was able to find it um, for an incredible price. Uh, this is just the inverse. Okie dokie. So, this is a buyback from 2014 Panini Hall of Fame 75th Anniversary um, from 1983 Donruss uh, Hall of Fame. Yeah, Hall of Fame Heroes. Um, and it's hand-numbered here, uh, 2 of 8. Um, and it's just an awesome card. Um, they're actually pretty common on eBay. Um, not, of course, the buybacks, but the original card, he's... He signed a lot of them, and a lot of them are PSA authenticated. Um, but I'm planning on going to SGC with this guy, just because the rest of my collection's in SGC. Um, and I just think their holders are, uh, their cases are much nicer than PSAs. Um, <coughs> ugh, excuse me. Um, that was disgusting. Um, so yeah, it's an awesome card. I've wanted this for a while. Um, but really couldn't find it at a price, and then when I saw it for, uh, 40 bucks by it now, I could not, could not resist, and it's a really clean autograph. Um, Greenberg is a bit infamous on some of his autographs to smudge for some reason or another, um, and I, I actually have a, uh, Hall of Fame postcard that I'll show you later that I can, I'll show you his autograph is a little smudged on it, so, but luckily this autograph is really clean and not smudged, so... Very happy with this purchase, and it's going to SGC soon. Um, yeah, just an absolutely sweet, sweet, sweet card. And has... Oh, I see it. It's a uh, it's a stamp in the top right corner of the card. It'll probably be really hard for you guys to see. Um, I can't even really tell what it says. Oh. Oh, it says Recollection Collection. So this, this, so this stamp, this one, they asserted them as the packs. Nice. All right, cool. Yeah, so that's that. And that's what I have to show you. All right, until tomorrow, guys. Thanks.